I want to take this opportunity to apologize to every spider that I've ever killed. Or really, considering I don't believe in an afterlife, I want to apologize to the spider community as a whole. I'm sorry. I acted without thinking. I chose violence without reason. You scuttled across my sight lines, and I didn't want you there. And that's just not fair. So I became judge, jury, and executioner. And for what? For the crime of eating flies and mites? For trying your best in an unfriendly world? For being a quiet roommate? You sought shelter from the storm in my domain? In your spider shoes? I would have done the same. I too search for food to fill my brittle body, and I too rest inside a cozy space of my own design. Yet, I'm the one who crushed you with a shoe or a fist or a well-worn paperback of Charlotte's Web. Having might doesn't make me right. It just makes it harder for someone to say, you're wrong. It would be only fair for me to be put on trial to be trapped in a sticky cage and called to account before a great spider queen. No doubt I would be found guilty and executed for my crimes against spider kind. And I would probably deserve it. I just hope in this scenario that my body wouldn't go to waste. My calories could feed a thousand spiderlings, so a new generation could get their chance at life. You were never a threat to me or to any of my offspring. You were just a reminder that I have only superficial control over the space I call my own. A reminder that walls and paint cannot keep nature from creeping through the cracks. A reminder that my life is a fiction I tell myself to forget that every life is a shared one. I do not deserve your forgiveness. But I figured it was worth a try. We are all giants in a playground, crushing young things beneath our giant feet. The difference is how we choose to step. Do you walk with care, looking down at where your footsteps fall? Or do you troop through the world more concerned with where you're going than who you're stepping on?